In this video, I'm going to be sharing about the 10,000 hour rule, or maybe you've heard of taking 10,000 hours to become an expert at something or to get really good and master a skill. That's what we're going to talk about in this video. So if you're excited, hit the like button and subscribe for more videos like this coming soon, especially about the music industry and marketing in this day and age of the internet. So I'm Lydia Walker from rusticsongbird.com and in this video I want to talk about the 10,000 hour rule to becoming an expert at something. You may see somebody come out of the woodwork and just think, wow, where did they come from? If there's a hit song that's all of a sudden on the charts or you suddenly have a household name of someone famous and you're like, where did they come from? There's a whole theory behind the 10 year overnight success and I think that that is connected to the 10,000 hour rule. So if you break down 10,000 hours to becoming a master at something or becoming the expert in any field, whatever it is, it breaks down to about 20 hours a week for 10 years. So think about a side hustle or a part-time side gig that becomes something that you're really good at because you're passionate about it. That's why you see so many music artists that have been working behind the scenes, hustling behind the scenes for 10 years, for 15 years before they ever really hit that point of critical mass or going viral or having that hit song. It takes so much work on the behind the scenes of becoming the person that can have that hit song. And that's the other reason why we see people that have one hit wonders that might have a great hit song, but then if they haven't done that work on themselves and that work behind the scenes, then they can't maintain or sustain that kind of fame or virality. So it's really interesting to me to see those stories of people that have just put in the work. They show up every single day and they do a little bit every day and they're not just chasing the dream to be famous but they really love what they're doing so much that they will put in the time for free. They will volunteer, they will do all of this work that is not seen, that is not in the magazines and on the charts and all of the things that are not fancy. And they'll put in the work because they love it and then it's just hilarious to me, it makes me laugh when a song goes famous and everybody's like, wow, where did they come from? They came from a lot of hard work, a lot of hard knocks, most likely, and they worked really hard to get to the point where they are. So with the 10,000 hour rule, if you are someone who's wanting to master a skill or get really good at something, and maybe you're just starting and you think, wow, 10,000 hours is a lot of time. It is, but I think it's more of the principle and more of the work ethic of what it takes to master something because by the time you practice something every day for 10 years, of course you're gonna get good at it. You could be a person with average talent, you know, any kind of resources. You could come from any place. Like we all start at zero. So you could literally be starting today and just work on your dream one step at a time a little bit every single day and over time you will get better at it because some things will become habit and you'll be building really good habits towards the future and then you're going to learn something every single day. I don't think we ever stop learning and so as you're mastering a skill you're becoming a student. You're constantly learning and even when you get to that mastery level you love learning and you want to keep improving, always improving. I was just listening to an interview with James Clear about his book, Atomic Habits, and it talks about improving 1% every day. And when you break it down to a day by day thing, and you're constantly making those slight improvements, it compounds over time and makes incredible growth over years. And so if you're starting now, I want to encourage you a little bit every day may not seem like a big deal at this point, but it's going to grow. There's no way that it can't grow. And so even a person that is just getting started now, you might think, wow, 10 years, 15 years, 20 years, that's a long time. But if you just work on it a little bit every day, you never know 
uh, when that one song is going to take off and you want to be the type of person that is prepared to handle that type of success. There are so many people that are afraid of failing and I think creative people are on the other spectrum and sometimes we have the fear of success and the fear of being successful. Instead of thinking, what if it doesn't work? We might be thinking, what if it does work? What am I gonna do with all that fame, with all that attention? And you know, that's not the reason a lot of people are in it. They're maybe a creative person because that's an awesome outlet for them. Maybe that's how they express themselves. And so creating things is the way that they share that with the world. And so when it becomes the person that you are, it's not about that one song. It's not about the numbers. It's not about a certain level of success or winning a certain award. It's about being that person. And one illustration that James Clear talked about was being a runner, which is totally different. Uh, I'm not a runner, but if I was wanting to become a runner, I could start running a little bit every day and I would prove to myself, I would have evidence that yes, I'm a runner because I run a little bit every day and you can build up that stamina over time. And that's how it works with any skill. If you're sitting on the couch trying to convince yourself, I'm a runner, but you're not running at all, then you're not proving it to yourself. So for me as a musician, I'm a songwriter. That's the identity or the, the title that I put on myself. And so I do write songs regularly and that's who I am, but I don't measure my success by how many songs I've written. I just, that's what I do. I'm going to always write songs because I'm a songwriter. And so to me, it's not about the numbers and it's not even about the success of the songs. It's about being that person. And so for me, I started writing songs when I was 12 and so I've been in this over 15 years and I've worked on it every single day because I love it. And I feel like at this point in my career, I have such a different perspective than when I started. And I think doing a little bit every day just proves to yourself that you are successful and that you are the type of person that does that thing, whatever your passion is. And so how the 10,000 hours comes into it, I broke it down into uh, I play guitar and so I was thinking okay I've played guitar at my church a couple hours on Sundays a couple hours on Wednesdays every week for the last 15 years so at that point at that rate you're building up a lot of hours because you have practice you have the actual service times and the performance in front of people and so a lot of hours goes into that and after you have 15 years of experience at something a lot of things are on autopilot. A lot of things are hab habits that you've built over time. Like I don't have to think about tuning my guitar because it's just what I do. I get my guitar out of the case. I put the tuner on it. I play the strings from the top to the bottom. And now that I'm thinking about it, I have to think through it. But when I'm doing it, I don't have to think about tuning it. I don't have to think about how I put it on or where my fingers go to play the chords because if I'm playing these chords over and over, it becomes muscle memory. It becomes automatic and then I'm freed up to be thinking about what I want to say to the audience. I'm freed up about saying something about the song that connects the audience. I'm not thinking about tuning my guitar anymore. I'm not thinking about where I'm going to stand on the stage or where I'm going to put my mic stand. I already have all of that on autopilot. And so there's things like that that happen when you do something over and over and over. You create those systems, create those habits and then you're freed up to go to the next level and that higher level thinking because you're not really as nervous because you know, I've done this a lot. I've done this hundreds of times or I've done this thousands of times. And so you have that confidence that builds up over time. You don't start out confident. You have to do it to become confident. So I like to say courage comes before confidence. I learned that and I think it's so true. Courage comes before confidence and then by doing it, you become more confident and you realize the world doesn't end when you mess up, when you make a mistake, when you say the wrong thing or you sing the wrong words, it's okay, life goes on. And so you learn things like that along the way and by the time you're 10,000 hours into something, you're not a beginner anymore. You are an expert, you are going to be a master at whatever that skill is and sometimes you can expedite those skills so 
If you're thinking, I don't have 10 years to become an expert, what if you could learn from someone who has those skills and who has put in that time, if you can really focus and learn the top things from the people that have mastered that skill, you're going to save so much time. And so at this point, I understand the value of information and the value of learning from people that have done what I want to do. And that was an aha moment for me. I thought, what if I could learn from people's mistakes and what they've learned over 10 years, what if I learned that in a training that's a few hours or in a few days or in a few weeks or in a few months, my life could look totally different one year from now by putting in that time and that effort learning from people that have been doing what I wanna do for 10 years, for 15 years, for 20 years. Does that make sense? So now I'm at the point where I want to share what I've learned the past 15 years and I think back to what I wanted to know when I got started and what I wish I would have had. So for me, I started a podcast called the Rustic Songbird Podcast about two years ago and I've interviewed people in my network, people in the music industry and learning their stories and I'm learning so much from it but I'm also sharing their stories and I'm sharing it because I want those songwriters and those musicians who are just getting started to be able to speed up that process. And you're learning from someone else's 10,000 hours. And so if you can listen to a one hour podcast and learn some of those top lessons from someone who has put in 10,000 hours, you're speeding up your education and you're just gonna get better and better. So I want to encourage you, if you're wanting to master a skill, if you're wanting to get really good at something and become an expert in whatever field it is, look for those opportunities to improve 1% every day and that book would be a great one to check out, Atomic Habits by James Clear. Or even just look up a YouTube video or some of his interviews. Really insightful and uh, just fascinating how the brain works and how our bodies work and how we can make those improvements to our life a little bit every day. And also listening to books, uh, like on audiobooks, listening to podcasts, watching videos, learning from people that have gone before and who are doing what you want to do is such a great way to learn. And so you are going to improve just by being around those people and learning. It's going to start changing your thought process. It's going to start changing how you see things, how you do things, and that is going to add up. So I want to encourage you to look for those opportunities to follow maybe a handful of people, find a few people that you can look up to as a role model and learn from them turn their decades into days by learning from their mistakes, learning from their successes, and learning from their mindset and just how they think about things, what they're doing, and see how that can apply to what you're currently doing and how you want your life to look. So I hope that encourages you and inspires you. I want to encourage you to subscribe to this channel for more videos like this. I am sharing what I'm learning and sharing things that are helpful to me that have been helpful building my career and especially in the music industry and marketing, marketing music. I am sharing whatever I can that will be helpful for you. So leave a comment and let me know what topics you'd like for me to cover here on the channel and I'm glad to help however I can. I also want to invite you to check out the Rustic Songbird podcast because currently we have 70 episodes where I interview people in the music industry that are doing this and they love it and they're sharing such amazing insight and encouragement and advice. So especially if you're a creative person and you're a musician or a songwriter, check out the Rustic Songbird podcast and I would love for you to subscribe to that show because we have new episodes coming out every single Monday. I've also been sharing the behind the episodes right here on my YouTube channel on Fridays after the episodes come out. So make sure to subscribe to this channel. Would love for you to be part of the subscriber family. And I can't wait to read your comments and see what topics you'd like to learn because I think we're always learning, we're always improving. So let me know what you'd like to learn more about and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.